What is up guys, Joper Writes here once again, and today I'm continuing the journey of Dokken in the world of Pillars of Eternity. He had just lost his two companions, and now sets forth trying to explore and find his way towards the closest village so he can rest. Unfortunately, there are bodies on the ground, and more danger afoot. His adventure so far has been trying and something he would not have expected whatsoever. But that doesn't mean he can't search the area, see if there's anything he can find that'll help him on that journey. Because right now it's still looking a little hectic. And now we have some bandits who are approaching. Great. Unfortunately. <laughs> He's tired, he's weary from his previous adventure, but now he's using his chance that he had learned to try to stay alive and take down these enemies without too much of a problem. His chance seemed to be working because these bandits have little to no chance of survival at this point. And with the final swing of his axe, the more lightly you'll have to sleep. He cuts the last bandit down. Good day to you. Having helped Tenforth, he now will search the area for anything else that might aid him in the adventure and the quests. Seems to be a lot of things here. Mostly food, supplies for the trip. He finds another villager who seems to be in some type of need. Unfortunately, he is in no position to take on a bear at the moment, but maybe he should come back after he's rested and find some companions, perhaps. Finally, Dokken has arrived at Gilded Vale, the local town. Hopefully, they find a little rest and relaxation without any more troubles. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? Mm. That's a personal and question. An important one, nevertheless. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn 
just southwest of here. Let's not give this dude any more information on the previous adventure to use against Dokken at this time. Let's ask about this. Children born without soul, that's not good. I guess this is the best answer. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Keep out of... Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Not good at all. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Yeah, I could introduce you. Hmm. Well, that guy's not very helpful. Time to see if there's a place to rest. For the first time, Dokken feels himself able to reach out to the soul of the locals and find a tale of their soul's past. That was certainly an enlightening experience, to say the least. Dokken arrives at the inn to find himself not greeted warmly, unfortunately. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Go on, say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fire, you're itching for the kindle in touch of your sister, you cocksmither! I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarreled. That's where you're wrong. Looks like these brutes don't 
want to welcome any new folks. Not quite how I hoped to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that. Our courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? In Gwythen Ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious, what exactly did you find there? You do manage to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the Magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the water, wine, and lumpy beds at the end. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Excellent. I shall follow you. And there we are with a new companion. Hopefully the same fate as the last doesn't befall this one, as Aloth seems quite an enjoyable friend. Gods keep you. Dokken speaks to some of the locals, trying to find out a little bit more about what has befallen the area, who might be able to help them with a little bit of information, because information is money. Two more special souls await him there as well. So many souls. The 
this power is haunting. These tales are terrifying. So much going on that Dokken just doesn't understand yet. Poor puppy. And we have brought the black hound into our party as well. Looks like I can help uh, Trumbull clear up this issue with the grain. Hopefully it'll lead to something. Don't want to steal anything from him though, unfortunately. At Hail this traveler. juncture. Yikes. Hello? No drinking the ale, got it. Used to be real nice, bright, warm. Good day to you. Looks like we'll be exploring the Temple of Ethos. The party makes easy work of that spider though. Don't know if I want to fight too many of those. Taste of magical creatures in this adventure. But once again, we take them apart with no issue whatsoever. And more spiders to test our metal against. Their webs look to keep the companions in place, but once again, they are able to make relatively short work of it. But the waves do not stop. Spider after spider infesting this forgotten temple. Looks a little suspect. Oh, well, these history lessons are a little spooky. Great, a 
Ooh, and here we have Scalders. Dangerous looking beasts. Not passable. Some lore books. Though the monsters are endless. I feel off. Looks like one of our companions might be poisoned. Not good. Not good. What use could we have for these scalded ears? That's a real question. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. And another crossbow. Looks like we cannot go that direction. as though our downfall will not be strength of enemies but merely the weight of how many throw themselves against our party more enemies upon us this time a whole horde of them even these stand no chance against our formidable companions Once again, met with a uh, strange vision. And we've successfully solved the puzzle. You know, it's strange looking back. All the time I spent here growing up. Never seeing what was coming. Oh, we have a shadow now to fight? Interesting. Explore every inch of this area. And another shadow. A few more, actually. We have a uh, phantom as well joining the fray. Huh. 
It's like Dokken is in trouble. Duncan had fallen, but now he's upright. Unfortunately, he would need some heals here shortly or else the quest could not continue. Unable to pick that lock, they continue on. Only to feed more of these phantoms. Docking and rested up a little bit and taking a potion that allowed him to regain some of his health. the fight so many dangerous creatures within this dark dangerous temple to fight. The trio is surrounded at this point. Their teleporting allowed them to get around the danger, yet still the companions are able to fight them off, struggle through, and ultimately win the battle. Having found the key, we're able to enter the area that was previously locked. We continue exploring this dark area. All these enemies in danger, so wait.
Dokken consumes another quick potion, allowing him to regenerate a little bit before taking on some more enemies. Once again, Doc and Falls showing his powers don't always extend into combat like his fellow companions. He's weakened, yet still they fight on and are able to finish the combat before he's able to rise once more. See it done. It's finished. Rather unfortunately, no one survived. We found that. Secret doorway that he had known was hidden there, yet could not find a way in, having successfully searched the entire temple for all items that might have been lost. Hail and well met. This <sighs> terrible man. left Wharton alive just because avoiding Urgent a foul miserable man
Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, it is both, I think. Yes? No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy, then. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Call them. Those days are all behind me, no? The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there? You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, no. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls, there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their honor can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadlua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Oh, yes. Entropy. Rimagan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. Me? And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed.
<laughs> oh, come now. Such a question. As though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> Well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife. See why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months. Looked high and low for impurities. Tested her balance. The permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. The worst of us are. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an enomancer who helped one find the other. Turn their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things. But their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. What an answer. What an interesting tale as well. Seventeen and a half. Seventeen and a half. Well, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you oughta. The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at me. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack, I took you for a Radrick at first. Careful, friend. Let's not use that word round here. There'd be any number of Roger bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here, Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. 
The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. This is another dark tale. Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there, that was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethys. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethys isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers. Accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Hmm. I seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger, and a strange one at that. But truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. All right then, guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. And we have our third companion now. Well, second companion, third party member. I have received confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his lands. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will be most thorough in his efforts to purify this place. I want to murder that guy. Hello. All right, let's see. Well, this is the lady that uh, lost her sister, our companion Kaliska. We should help her out. Seeing as she has no family left, let's see, can we pet the cat? All right, and that's it. Now that we know what these souls are, it makes these stories way more interesting. Don't want to steal anything, but their exploration was getting a little bit tedious, but there were still a few more to talk to. You 
including a couple more soul touched. Very interesting. Overall, their journey through the Gilded Vale seemed to be coming to an end as it was time to take their leave and head towards their next adventure. Two new companions and a dog in tow.